Welcome back, everyone, to the AEW Control Center. It's Tony Schiavone once again. Well, we're ready for big business. We hope you are, too. Wait no more, because AEW Big Business is tonight as AEW Dynamite takes the air live at 8, 7 Central on TBS. Tonight's event, as you know by now, will originate from Boston's TD Garden. For our fans in the Boston area, tickets are available at AEWTIX.com. Here's what's on tonight's card. The AEW World Championship is on the line as Samoa Joe defends against Wardlow. Joe and Wardlow are no strangers. At one time, they were tag team partners, but that all went south. At Revolution, Wardlow won the right to vie for the title as he prevailed in the All-Star eight-man scramble. Well, as you know, Wardlow joined the Undisputed Kingdom and has been on a mission to become the next AEW World Champion. He'll get his shot tonight at Big Business. Also tonight, in a big trios match, the new elite, Matthew and Nicholas Jackson and Kazuchika Okada will meet the trio of Eddie Kingston, Penta El Cerro Miedo, and Pac. The match was made this past Saturday on AEW Collision on TNT. Nicholas Jackson, Matthew Jackson, Kazuchika Okada, the new elite. What lies next? Hold on a second! Eddie Kingston! What was he thinking? He got involved Wednesday night and clearly didn't learn anything from what happened. But one man's pride is another man's stupidity. That's Penta! Sling blade! Another one! Pinta missed a sling blade on Okada. Okada elevates him! Oh! Got it! Okada is incredible. Barely broke a sweat. And now it's three on two. Pinta. Eddie Kingston at the mercy of our EVPs. Oh, the elite Okada now holding up the. Wait, oh my God, the roof's coming off here. What's this all about? Look it's who's Boston. Look who's back. The bastard pack. And now, Pat Okada, face to face in the ring. Take my money, take my money. They are eating each other's forearms and not backing down. European upper got staggers, Pack. The quickest feed in all of AEW. Maybe the entire world. Using Rickus! German release suplex! Okada staggered, gets back up. Well, this changes things. Does it ever? And now, the Bucks drag Okada away. But Pat comes out to help Eddie Kingston. Help his longtime death triangle member, Penta. Debut, you Gentlemen, I'll make this very, very clear for you. The bastard's back. And I promise you, I'm just looking for trouble. So if it's trouble you're after, you are certainly barking up the correct tree. You understand me? Boys, you want some? I'll give it you. You reap what you sow. Hey, hey, big business. Boston, next week, six man tag. See you there. The addition of Okada to the elite makes it more powerful and influential than ever before. 
But the arrival of Pac brings back one of the most complete wrestlers and brawlers in the world. This will be an incredible trios match tonight on Big Business. Also tonight, one-on-one, -on -one, Darby Allen squares off with Jay White of the Bang Bang Scissor Gang. Okay, Chalmer and, and Darby, I would ask you what's next for you, but we know it's coming up next week against Switchblade Jay White at Big Business Live here on TBS. But my question for you is, what's it gonna be like for Darby Allen without Sting? This isn't gonna be easy, Tony. You know, it's crazy to think about it. About five years ago, I was homeless about 40 minutes away from here in downtown Atlanta. And then Sunday, I was main eventing one of AEW's best pay-per-views of all time in Sting's retirement match. I said I'd stop at nothing to make sure his career ended with the respect it deserved. And I felt like I did just that. I'm lacerated, I'm beat up, I'm tired. But what's next for Darby Allen? Well, next week at Big Business, I got a match against Jay White. And then on, then on March 27th, I'm flying to go climb Mount Everest. Darby's been trained for that for months. And this is me just talking from the heart here. This, this, this is me talking from the heart. There's no guarantee that I'm gonna come back alive from Mount Everest. I just wanna take this time to say thank you to every fan and thank you for AEW for giving me this dream. And if next week is my last ever match, I'm gonna do what I always do. And that is go out fighting for my life. And as for this tag championship, everybody asks me, oh, why not just keep defending it and find a new partner? Well, let's get serious here, Tony. I cannot, <laughs> I can't replace the icon sting. I get that. So next team that wins this, congratulations. Relinquish the title. That's what just happened right there. Whoa. Oh, buddy. Got Darby Allen relinquishing the AW World Tag Team Championship. But it's Bullet Club Gold. Bang Bang Scissor Gang music. And then we see Switchblade Jay White falling off the gun. Whoa, 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 boys. Somebody hold that for me. Look, I'm sorry I didn't want to come out here and interrupt this cute little sob story about being homeless here in Atlanta. It's just that, Darby, you're such an elusive and, to be honest, kind of weird guy. I don't know if I would get the chance to talk to you face to face again, so I had to come out here in Atlanta. Darby, I just wanted to say to you face to face, congratulations on an amazing night at Revolution. See ya, Tony. Darby, you showed the world that you would do anything. You showed the world that you would sacrifice yourself to make sure that Sting would retire a champion. Let's give it up for old Stinger, huh? <laughs> Woo, Stinger. Man, you were ready to risk it all when you, when you jumped off of the top of that ladder. If you ask me, that was kind of stupid. You see, our esteemed EVPs, they moved out of the way. And then you, I like this bit, you went crashing down through that glass all by yourself, huh? And then that left poor old Sting all by himself to fight two on one against the Young Bucks. But luckily, old Sting prevailed. And he had that, that heartwarming send off to his career that he just, oh, so deserved. And Darby, you were there by his side to enjoy that moment or whatever it was. I didn't actually see it. I just hear everybody talking about it because it's all anybody is talking about. But me, between me and you in Atlanta, I don't really care. But, but, 
but, but, but, but, you know what I do care about now, Dobby, is that Sting is gone. And Dobby, you're all alone. And what is Dobby Allen without Sting? I think Dobby Allen is a little lost puppy. Nobody there to feed him treats. Nobody there to clean up after him. Nobody there to hold his leash. And now you have a match with Switchblade J. White. The catalyst of professional wrestling. And that's what I'm out here for, Darby, to tell you that this doesn't need to happen. We don't need to have this match. Just like you didn't have to jump from the top of that ladder, you don't have to get in the ring with me. And trust me, nobody, nobody out the back, nobody here in Atlanta, nobody watching at home, nobody would think any less of you after what you've been through physically, mentally, and emotionally. Because Darby, remember, if you do decide to get in the ring with me, there's a lot worse things that can happen than just a couple of little scratches. So I have a better idea. I have an idea on how we can preserve our precious Darby right here in Atlanta. Instead of a match, why don't you come back and you can hang with the Bang Bang Scissor Gang. I tell you what, we have a nickname ready for Darby already. You want to hear it, Atlanta? You want to hear it, Darby? Darby Scissor Hands, baby. You look like you already love playing with scissors on the daily. So why don't you throw up those scissors Come to the back and you can scissor on daddy ass, huh? What do you say? Are you done, Jay White? Are you done? I'm done. Let's get this right. I'm gonna get right to the point. You main evented the Tokyo Dome twice. You won championships all around the world and then you came to AEW and did what? Play with cardboard cutouts? I don't believe the hype. We are gonna have this fight next week. And if you are as good as you think you are, you'd come alone. Darby does not care. Darby's never cared about the odds. I'll see you at Big Business, baby. This will be Darby's final match before he heads to the Himalayas to climb Mount Everest. With Jay White, one of the top competitors in the world, who went over Darby Allen would continue his rise to the top in AEW. Also in tag team action tonight, the unlikely duo of Chris Jericho and Hook will meet the Gates of Agony. Last week on Dynamite, Jericho made a surprise appearance during the Hook backstage interview. Hook, there is so much built up animosity and history between you and Brian Cage. Tonight you guys are going one on one for your FTW championship. How are you feeling ahead of tonight's match? Sorry to interrupt, honey. You know, Hook, the very first match I ever had as Lionheart Chris Jericho in this country was at the ECW arena against your father. He suplexed me on my head. Never forgotten that. But I've always had a little bit of a connection to Taz because of it, which kind of made me feel I had a little bit of a connection to you. But I never really respected you, Hook, until you dumped me on my head this past Sunday at Revolution. And after I was in the ring with you, I realized that maybe you are the real deal. So uh, congrats on that. Bet. Later that night, after Hook successfully defended the FTW title against Brian Cage, Jericho came to Hook's aid. The winner of this match and still FTW champion, Hook! Unbelievable, he took that shot in the back, in the tips, did not let go. Oh, no, he did not, he showed that tough. Oh, what, what the? The gates of agony, and they're putting some agony on, on Hook. This is so easy to do. Come on! The buddies with, with Cage. And hold on. Oh, boy. And the words of JR Business just picked up. 
Chris Jericho back in hand. Clearing the ring. Coming to the aid of Hook. I mean, we heard what Jericho said earlier sure. tonight. We talked about the respect he had for Taz. And after what happened on Sunday, the respect he had for Hook. And then this past Saturday, after a Jericho went over Teton on collision, this happened. Oh, wait a second. The Gates of Agony. The Gates of Agony have come out. Bishop Khan, Toa Leona are out. Just stepping on the throat in the shot. Look up top. Bitch Hook. Wielding a kendo stick. They didn't need to call him. And Hook helping out Chris Jericho was so complimentary of him on Wednesday. We're all boy. Coleona. Oh, oh, is just taking it to the gates of agony again. Oh. Totally only wanted, Leona wanted some more. And he's not done, man. He wants back in there. Good Lord. Hook's oh. not scared of these men. No. Listen, we... I think he should be. No, I don't... He'll back down from no one. That's been proved time and time again. Samoa Joe knows that. And Hook and Jericho standing together. So the duo that last week helped each other out has agreed the team, and this should be quite interesting. But they must meet one of the most powerful and determined duos in all of AEW, the Gates of Agony of the Mogul Embassy. Also tonight, in the women's division, one of the top competitors in AEW, Willow Nightingale, will have one of her most important matches to date as she faces former AEW Women's World Champion, Riho. And last week on Dynamite, Willow told Stokely Hathaway to stay clear. Guys, moments ago, an unfortunate loss for Chris Statlander. What went wrong out there? <laughs> what went wrong? Chris Statlander wanted to do things her way, but let me just say, she is one of the best female competitors that we have here in AEW. She is my favorite. I just wish that she would uh, accept the help from the ones who who love her the most, you know? Well, listen, I have some good news for you guys because I've been informed that next week at Big Business, Willow Nightingale, you will be going one-on-one -on -one with Riho. Yeah. Ooh, that's, that's, that's good. Yeah. All right, okay. Uh, Stokely, yes. I know what you were just trying to do out there, but next week, we have to do things my way. Now, Riho. I know I can beat Riho. I know I can beat the former women's champ. You know, I... I want to be a champ myself, and I'm feeling pretty good at Revolution. Stat and I, we beat Sky and Julia, so Julia, I've got my sights set on you and the TBS championship. And I am going to become the face of TBS. I just got to get through Riho first. These matches and much more as AEW Big Business takes the air tonight at 8, 7 Central, live on TBS from the TD Garden in Boston, and of course on AEW Dynamite. Tickets in Boston are available at AEWTIX.com. AEW Dynasty is a little over a month away. This brand new AEW pay-per-view event will be held Sunday, April 21st. It will originate live from the Shavitz Arena in St. Louis. One match has already been announced, and I think we know this is going to be sensational as the American Dragon Brian Danielson meets the aerial assassin Will Ospreay. More matches to be announced in the coming weeks for this the first ever AEW pay-per-view from the legendary wrestling city of St. Louis. Tickets for Dynasty in St. Louis are available at AEWTIX.com. This coming Saturday, March 16th, AEW Collision originates live from the Canadian Tire Center in Ottawa, Ontario, Canada. This is AEW's debut in Ottawa with tickets available at AEWTIX.com. Remember that this Saturday, at the Canadian Tire Center. One week from tonight, that is Wednesday, March 20th, AEW returns to Toronto at the Coca-Cola Coliseum with a big night of AEW Dynamite. Already on the card in Toronto, an I Quit match for the TNT Championship as the rated R superstar Adam Copeland meets the champion Christian Cage. Cope versus Cage 3 as two of the greatest wrestlers out of Canada battle it out for the TNT title in Toronto Tickets available at AEWTIX.com. Cincinnati and Northern Kentucky AEW fans, Truist Arena will be the host of Collision and Battle of the Belts on Saturday, April 13th in Highland Heights, Kentucky. Tickets are now available at AEWTIX.com. 
Indy AEW fans, Dynamite will be back in Indianapolis Wednesday, April 17th at Indiana Farmers Coliseum. Tickets for Indianapolis are now available at AEWTIX.com. Peoria, Illinois, you won't want to miss Collision and Rampage at the Peoria Civic Center on Saturday, April 20th for a very special 420 show with your favorite AEW stars. Go to AEWTIX.com for tickets for Peoria. AEW Dynamite and Rampage return to the Charleston Coliseum in Charleston, West Virginia on April 10th. Tickets available at AEWTIX.com right now. All in London at Wembley Stadium is coming up Sunday, August 25th. Don't miss your chance to be a part of AEW history. For tickets and information, as we've been saying, visit Ticketmaster.co.uk or LiveNation.co.uk. And how about becoming an AEW insider? Go right now to AEWTIX.com. At the top of the page, click on Insider Sign Up. You'll be signing up to gain access to insider news, special ticket and merchandise deals, and exclusive pre-sale on-sale opportunities not available to the general public. That's AEW Insider at AEWTIX.com. The Season 3 DLC package arrived for AEW Fight Forever, and players can add Swerve Strickland and an exclusive new ring to their game. It's Swerve of the Beach. The Season 3 DLC pack also includes Claudio Castagnoli and Jamie Hayter as playable characters. And for all owners of AEW Fight Forever, a new free DLC update is also available right now. Download yours today. AEW Rise to the Top is available now. Download on iOS and Android and get a front row seat to the hottest mobile wrestling show in town. But AEW Big Business is here, the night we've been pointing towards for over a month. AEW Big Business will be live tonight on AEW Dynamite on TBS at 8, 7 central from the TD Garden in Boston. This is a night we will not forget for a while. For our fans coming to Boston, tickets at AEWTIX.com and come early. Bell time at the TD Garden is 7.30 tonight and stay after Dynamite, big business for AEW Rampage. I'm Tony Schiavone, as always in the AEW Control Center. See you tonight in Boston ringside and through the lens of TBS. We are AEW.